All right, Brent Porcio, Kevin Schultz, Stephen Godani here at the at Top Velocity hashtag Pitching Tips Show, where you can go to Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and ask your question about anything pitching or anything here at Top Velocity, and we're going to answer it on the next episode like we're going to do right now. we got a question from who? Nathan Wells asked, how useful are rowing exercises in maintaining stability and strengthening upper body for a pitcher? Of course, all upper body um, strength training is important. Um, most important is to create good function, get good function in your scaps. Once your scaps start moving effectively, retraction, uh, protraction, upward rotation, downward rotation, uh, it really creates, um, it gets you, it gives you the opportunity to create a healthy arm path. And of course, biomechanically, then you got to learn what is a healthy arm path. But it, you first need a good, healthy functioning scap to do that, and rowing would help that. Um, any shrugging, the traps are critical, the serratus, which is when you get into push-up plus, you really hit the serratus interior. Uh, these are all important to creating good scapular function. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put out an article soon. Um, I'll, I'll link it to this video. Um, but I found a study that talks about uh, how the, pelvit, the pelvis uh, is critical for stabilizing the, scap, the scaps. So the point is, is don't think just because I'm doing upper body strengthening that I'm protecting my arm. No, if you have a weak gluteus medius in this study they found, then you are actually putting your, uh, your arm, your shoulder uh, at risk because you need a stable pelvis in your delivery to help stabilize the scaps to create healthy function in the arm. Okay, so uh, the point is that you need to take a, a, a multifaceted, a total body approach when it comes to strength and conditioning. And I, and I really hate that when you always hear, you know, arm, or, you know, arm care, arm strength and exercises, it's all upper body exercises um, and it really doesn't hit the core and it doesn't hit the legs and it doesn't hit the, the hips and that's like this study show is as critical as protecting the shoulder as just doing shoulder exercises. But I'm going to leave it up, give it Kevin, see what Kevin has to say about this as well. Um, I'm big on the rows just because they suck the shoulder back and we get our, hum our the humeral head can rotate faster in the socket if our shoulder is rolled back as opposed to the forward. And then if we got the forward roll, then we get in the wing scap, and that's where we can get some legion tears, which can lead to the rotator cuff down the line. So, yeah, I think it's very important to be doing the rows and always balancing your pushes with some pulls, and that's critical to, to maintaining body balance and not getting a, a bad joint position that's going to lead to injury. What do you think? Yeah, just uh, strengthening the uh, decelerators, which the rows do, and uh, strengthening the shoulder and stuff, all of that's going to be really big for uh, – keeping from a shoulder tear, uh, protecting the, the UCL, all of that. So that's big. Um, we do like the fat man pull-ups too, which is like uh, um, the, where you put the bar down and do the pull-ups from underneath pulling yourself up, work in the back and stuff. So yeah, we do, we do a lot of those in the program. I think they're really big for uh, keeping the arm safe. All right, but like I said, don't just leave it at that. Let's, be, let's use a, a, a total body approach to, to arm health. I think that's obviously the more effective approach because it is a kinetic chain. The system all links together, um, and each joint has to work together to st stabilize uh, the whole system. Okay, so um, great question. <clears throat> if you have a question for us, go to Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, at Top Velocity, hashtag uh, Pitching Tips. Ask your question, and we're going to answer it on the next episode.